Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Wilson. This complete to Lockett. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. to Penny and he'll take this one up close to about the 45. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. The battle in the trenches never more important than right now. This is third and inches. Here's the sneak with Wilson. Only a few inches needed on the sneak. He didn't get it, and now it's fourth down. They gain nothing, and all they need are inches. Usually we put this on the offensive line, but sometimes it's the quarterback's fault as well on the sneak. You've got to get low and burrow. Usually we talk about O-line surge, their D-line surge leading to fourth. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. Now the Seahawks gonna use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. And he's got his man on the out route. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. The handoff running left is Penny. 
And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. First and 10 at the 24-yard line. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Eluding the pressure right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Second and 10. Now Wilson. He'll find Metcalf. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They've got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Wilson to throw. Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Yeah, great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps him pick up the first. Inside of a minute to go now, two timeouts left, still in pretty good shape. I think they're in excellent shape here if they use the timeouts judiciously and use the sideline as an additional timeout. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Throwing now is Wilson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. Now the Seahawks face a big two-point conversion attempt. Here's Wilson sliding out of the pocket. And it is caught. They got the two points, and with it, they've taken the lead. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Set to get this drive underway. 
They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock hits seven seconds or left, now you've got a decision. Are you in field goal range, or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Garoppolo to throw. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. To throw is Garoppolo. And they will get the conversion on third down, but the clock, a more pressing factor. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back to throw, Garoppolo. This to the outside, it's Sermon. And that's going to be a first down as he's out of bounds to stop the clock. 15 seconds to play. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Now Garoppolo. And this is caught, Jennings. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. He's back to throw. And a big loss here as he's taken down. A costly sack. They'll have to use a timeout here. And barring a defensive penalty, they'll be looking at one final play. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. Try now for Garoppolo. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime. And because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. So now it'll all come down to Robbie Gold. The clock showing just one tick. This for the win. And this doesn't get there. It's no good. They had to go for it, but their final effort here is going to come up short. So the victory.